I used to comb my hair with a fork. Howdy doodly! We're here today to make California adobo tacos. This is my sister. Hi. Her name Linda. Yes. That's good. So the backstory behind these tacos is that I lived in California for several years and I recently moved to New York about a year and a half ago. New York has terrible Mexican food. So in order to remedy the situation, I started creating these tacos that are kind of California style. So um, think about this as kind of like a base recipe. You can really play around with it a lot. Uh, but the basis is lots of vegetables and adobo sauce and... <laughs> Phil has a lot of energy and strength to bring to this taco making process, so these are going to be amazing tacos. You ready? He's ready. I think he's ready! He's throwing a fit. No, he's throwing a box. He's throwing a box. So, yeah. Let's go! Let's do this! Okay, so first of all, um... What? What's the first step. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Step one, make a drink. What am I drinking? All right. Woo. <laughs> okay, I'm good. So we've got lots of veggies over here. You should start off with some garlic and some onion of some sort. So I'm having Bill, so I'm having him chop up several cloves of garlic, half of this onion, and then um, a large portion of this leek. So chop away. So I'm gonna cook the garlic and the onion and leeks first because that will help kind of release the flavor and establish a base for the sauce. So he's gonna do that and I'm gonna start chopping some of the stuff. I was born in an onion. Her name was my mom. Um, this taco process involves a lot of chopping. You should tell them that chopping is fun. Chopping is really fun. Especially if you've had some tequila. It's relaxing. It is. And very, slightly dangerous. Very zen. It's like the zen of almost maiming yourself. The garlic and onions and leeks need to be cooked a little bit longer, so the carrots and the peppers and the mushrooms, they don't need as much time, so that's why we're separating these vegetables out first. I have something to say on camera. Tonight's episode is brought to you by the letter F, and also the letter U. do no such thing. It's lit. It's lit. It's fine. I know. You're gonna burn your face off. Holy shit. Stop. No, I'm not. I'm Linda, fine. it's f***ing lit. I know. I have the same kind of stove. If it's clicking, you need to chill. It wasn't. It'll kill us all. It wasn't turning We're on. almost dead, Linda. I have a gas stove, too. I know how they work. We're already dead. I'm convinced. What the f*** are you doing? Stop clicking I'm it. I'm trying to turn it down. The other way. Okay. All right. You did it. So you, then what you do is you put a generous spoonful or two of your oil of choice. Um, mine is coconut. You can also use olive oil or butter. So here, now I'm um, throwing in, you should really let the, the oil fully melt, but I'm getting kind of hasty, so whatever. But I'm throwing in uh, the red onion and the garlic. And you want to cook that until the onion is transparent and the garlic's a little brown. Should I use a spatula? Yes. Crikey! She's a beaut! We're all gonna maybe cry because of onion. And the ex-girlfriends. So I'm also gonna add the leek. In you go. This recipe is not gonna have any exact measurements really. You gotta do it quick. <laughs> and we're gonna make quite a bit of this veggie, adobo veggie mix. So don't be stingy with your oil. I'm gonna also add some spices now. You know, flavor! Flavor! We're gonna use smoked paprika, which adds an extra element of deliciousness. Chop the corn. Wow. Wow. So literally, like I said, no exact measurements on this. I'm just- Shit, it smells good! Seas seasoning to taste. 
as much smoke for freak as tickles your fancy. I have no fancy and I'm not ticklish. Just like dump that in there. Okay, we're also gonna add a little bit of honey, a little dollop, drizzle, trust me, oregano leaves. Beep, beep, beep. Adds a little bitter edge. Um, you don't need this, but I like adding Goya adobo seasoning. It's the real deal. Now I, I really like spicy food. So I'm gonna add a little bit of chili powder, but not too much. I'm allergic to flavor. You're a bold liar. No, I'm still. Look how good and nice the onions are turning transparent. A little more oil. For hell. So this is the cornerstone of the, the whole taco. So it's just a little can that the chipotle peppers come in. And we're gonna cut up one of the peppers, but what I'm really interested in is the sauce that they come in. A chipotle sauce, I don't know, let's read. Those. This whole dish is gonna be really smoky and savory. So I'm just grabbing the sauce out of here. This is the secret ingredient. This is like the, this is, you cannot leave this out. This is what makes the whole, the whole dish. So we're lazy, so we're gonna nuke the sweet potato. For a couple of minutes, throw it in. You wanna cut up your potato first so that it doesn't explode in the microwave. What the f am I doing? Just cut up your chunks, put it in a bowl, and then put it on like two or three minutes. Cilantro off the stems, is that what you want? No. You want it on the stems? Yeah, no. Okay, you want me to, to feel it? No. You want me to f off? No. What should, what should I do? No. Our sauce base is pretty good now. It's nice and saucy. The onions and the leeks and the garlic look pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna start adding in the vegetables that don't need to be cooked as long. This is portobello mushroom, um, a couple of different colors of carrots, so uh, orange carrot, purple carrot, and white carrot, and some red bell peppers. Hey look, papas, del, your mama. Your mama's papas. Here we've got some more mushrooms, some tomatoes, and fresh corn, one ear. Wow. I know this sounds crazy, but I find that it's easiest to make this in a wok, because it's really big and it kind of cooks everything evenly at the same time. It's so crazy! Next we're gonna add the fun ingredient. If you've never had cactus before, it tastes a little bit like green beans, like pickled green beans. 420 strain it. <laughs> and some other shit. I don't know what it is. Necessary, but you know. Uh, I think they're required. Yeah, they're pretty delicious. I'm gonna add a little salt. Do you want them in? Perfect. Yep. I'm adding more of the sauce because it's ma it's magic crack sauce. I'm just adding more of the seasoning. I probably want to turn the heat down a little because I think most of the vegetables are pretty cooked, and now it's just kind of about letting the flavors simmer a little bit. Flavor. I would just make sure that it doesn't burn and that the delicious juicy sauce that's developing, see that? That that doesn't totally cook cook off because you kind of want it to stay there. And you know what? I think that it's time for me to grate some cheese. I know what I have to do. <laughs> Jalapeno Jack. You gotta stave off the ravenous horde from eating all your cheese. Jealous. No one eat my cheese! <laughs> So I'm squeezing some uh, lime into this. You can also use apple cider vinegar. You just wanna add like a little bit of sharp notes to it. So lime or vinegar of some sort. I just put in a, a couple of um, like a little sprinkling of fresh cilantro. There's no exact science, you know. Just cook it till it's good. Perfect, turn that heat down. Great. Wow. So once the veggies are soft and delicious and all the flavors are melted, transfer them to a bowl. We're gonna make the mini quesadilla part next. Okay, done. Steak! Yes! Wow. Fire! Flame. If you wanna learn how to grill steak, we taught you in a different video. Click here to find out how. Do -do -do -do. Added some coconut oil and it's on low heat. Take two of these little delicious pork tortillas. You add some of the cheese to it, just a little bit. Make a nice sandwich. Maybe like a tablespoon of cheese each. And then you just uh, put them in the pan. And you want the cheese to melt and the tortillas to get crispy and brown. That's about it. 
I kind of overdid it on the oil. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. I am revealing to you the secrets of my taco, my taco studies. I've made these over a hundred times at least, and that's not an exaggeration. You're a taco biologist. All right, put everything together. So you add the adobo, nopalito, veggie mixture, about a little spoonful. So next we add a little cheese on top to melt. So we'll do some of this delicious steak that Phil made. Next we'll add a little bit of fresh tomato, a little bit of fresh cilantro, essential, some nice sliced fresh avocado, and then some Julia red, red bell pepper because it's pretty. Help him. <laughs> I'm helping. And then we're gonna do a little slice of fresh lime here. I always like adding a little fruit. It's just like nice to add that to the plate. Yeah. And then we gotta do the salsa. If you wanna learn how to put things in a blender and get salsa out of it, click here. <coughs> da -da -da. Yeah, just like a little bit and that's it. This is Cali Adobo Veggie Tacos with cactus and steak and deliciousness. God damn. Mm. Oh, damn! That's so good. That's, That's how you make it. That's how you make it. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Mmm.